is 647. We are cruising right along here on a Tuesday morning. One of the biggest scams out there right now does involve something most of us do every single day, and that's search the Internet for business phone numbers. Well, all new for you this morning, our Let's Go Know team is sharing more about fake phone numbers and scam websites that look legit. It says you ordered Norton antivirus software or that your McAfee subscription will auto renew at $499 or that you bought a $619 projector screen at Target. All texts and emails, none of them legitimate. And because you didn't buy or renew, they hope you call the number provided and they can eventually get into your bank account. And just because you didn't get an email or text, don't think you're safe. When you need a customer service number, do you find it online? Patty let me know she wanted to update her payment information with Amazon. She asked to Google for the phone number and called it. Federico had to make a return and also found an Amazon number online. But the numbers weren't really Amazon. So what about a legit looking website I found for another popular business? This is Best Buy Geek Squad. We'll see. He says he's with Best Buy Geek Squad and is ready to diagnose my computer. And the cost is cheap. $1.99 cents is all I'd have to pay. Or it could cost me thousands. So I would give him remote access to my computer there. Okay, thank you. Good move. Best Buy says the site is not associated with them. Protect yourself. Never click on email or text links. Avoid blind internet searches for customer service. The real website is usually the businessname.com, not variations of the name. And don't give remote computer access to people you don't know. Patty did allow her fake Amazon workers access. She says, next thing I know, he purchased games and cleaned out my bank account. Federico also lost money, $1,400, after scammers convinced him to send it through Zelle. Once that's done, it's gone. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know to see all the latest scams. And if you're a problem solver, let me know if you'd like to join our volunteer team. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know.